what's going on youtube welcome back to another video it's been a little while since i've posted you know and you know the thing already it's really about time and you know management but really and truly this is also a hobby so also you know my subscribers and supporters have to also remember that and i know they do anyways um back here with an interesting vlog you know came across some issues with the to me mo5 car and you know i really wanted to share you know the down moments as well even though you know i also vlog when i'm doing drag pulls and when everything is doing fine and whatever but yeah today you know i'm here to make a vlog really on addressing you know they always say this term in drag racing that spinning ain't winning and that is also you could say a fact so what I did now with this car is that I went back to the drawing board and decided that I would take some timing out of the motor and then also work with some light with more lightweight reduction sorry to see if I can get the car any faster. One of the biggest issues that I'm facing right now in which I kinda see why people don't really choose these cars as you could say a drag car setup, but nevertheless, we're gonna get it done. Um, is the fact that the gearing is limited to 20 teeth gearing. I'm almost sure I said that before, but you know, while tuning, you're gonna now realize new issues, and you know, sometimes same old issues sometimes will become new issues, and the same new issues are old issues, if you get what I'm saying. So, yeah, um, that is another issue with getting me up to the speed that I want to be and also it is you know hindering me to come off the line a little bit faster but it's okay uh i have to do other tuning ideas now to get the car where i want it to be also another thing i saw a video on youtube just recently i didn't even see it before is that um somebody had a chassis like this and it did 43 miles per hour no, in previous videos that I have posted, I did say that this one was the fastest one so far that I've seen posted in the world on YouTube. I mean, people might have fast but never posted. So I said posted on YouTube, and you know, lo and behold, so I came to realize that um, it is not true, <laughs> basically. Anyways, so has some work to do with that because then if he's running. 43 miles per hour and I'm only doing 40 then you know I have some work to do the last time I saw it was like 36 37 miles per hour and I did 40 so now that you know I see that there's a new time I'm gonna try to see if I can beat that now how I plan to do that as you can see I've installed a bar down here it's no longer a weight bar to come to the um the intercooler but right now I'm using it as you know more like a you could say a traction bar maybe whatever the case may be stabilizer whatever you know but i know it does help with getting everything balanced that's basically got a traction bar in some sense but yeah um yeah i did that the motor provides the downforce for traction as well you know nice weight at the front not too heavy and then you know the 6.5 he was doing it on a 5700 kv motor this is a 3650 kv and he's he had a third three thousand milliamp battery and this is a eighteen hundred milliamp battery and I did thirty nine on this. Before I had a hundred C did forty one, but you know again with me doing the port weight ratio stuff, I'm trying to see what I can do. Plus it gives you know some fun to the hobby because you know you don't just buy a motor, make it fast, there's nothing else to do. You have to try new things. So yeah, that's that. Um, using screws instead of the other little knob thing is that they give you to really turn the car because with certain power, it's gonna torque steer, but when the screw is actually bolting it down, you won't have that issue. So as I said, those are the things, and then also you know have to work with how you come off the line and things like that. So you know that's just a few of the tips for now. Until next time, you know just like, share, and subscribe. I will be sharing more. Um, things about this car later on you just have to stay tuned whatever issues are fine i'll let you know
but not giving up on it you know that's my turn into my little daily drag driver well, not really daily but you know a machine that you can run here and there so keep it locked to 876 rc dragsters and leave a comment